Hey guys, my name is Casey Jeffries. I'm the owner of Gold Miner Pest Control, and we're here doing a bat job at a customer's house. And we're just getting ready to remove some netting that we had installed where they were getting underneath the flashing. And we're going to go ahead and get everything set up over there and get that removed. And all we're trying to do is get the bats to come out and stay in the area and live in this area because they're super beneficial to have around your house. And the best thing to do for that is pick up some bat houses and place them around your property so you can keep them living here because they'll eat all the mosquitoes all night long. They'll be swarming around the house eating the mosquitoes. Um, we just don't want them in the house itself because you get a buildup of guano in there and big, there's bigger issues that can arise from the amount of guano you get built up inside the walls. So it's good to have them around, not good to have them in the walls. So all we're doing is making them leave and not come back in and then we're sealing up the holes so they can't come back in the future. Okay, so I'll show you guys kind of the signs of bats. This is at the customer's front door. So he's walking up and you can see on the ground right here, the guano. Looks a lot like mouse droppings, except it has separations in the middle. A lot of the little points, a lot of uneven sizes. And you'll notice like a mouse dropping will be look exactly like a, a grain of rice. Bat droppings will have like a dimples in the center. They're real sticky. If they stick to the walls, you know that that's bats. And mice and rats aren't going to have droppings in the exact same spot over and over again, but bats will because they're crawling in above this. And every time they crawl in, their droppings come out and land right here. So I'll show you guys another sign here. If you look at this spot here, this white here and here, that's the urine. So as they're crawling in there, the urine's coming out, the guano's falling out. You can see guano stuck right here, and guano stuck here, and guano stuck here. Obviously, if this was mice, there wouldn't be guano up here. You wouldn't have droppings stuck to the sides and up here. And if you look inside, so what they're doing is they're swooping in and they're crawling into that crack, in that very crack up there. You could see, you might be able to see a bat up there, but they're crawling into that little tiny void. And this is the size compared to my finger, how wide that is. Shows you how of a, much of a small space they can get into. They're not very big if you take away, especially their wings. And so we're going to install a piece of netting here. We're going to bring a door down at the bottom for them to go out. And then in two weeks, we're going to remove it and then plug that with copper. And we'll show you that how that is going to look after we get it installed. Now you take it like here. Yeah, just kind of go this side. Bit. And she's up. Okay, so we got the nettings installed. It's kind of funky looking because there's a really small corner. But if you look here, I just basically sealed off this with copper. You can see that half of it. And so he can't crawl down that way, so he's got to come out of this corner. And he'll come out right through here. You just got to leave this a little loose, not too loose, but a little loose like this. So they can squeeze out. So it's going to crawl down. It's going to come out here, fly off. When it comes back, it's going to come back up here to try to go back in, along here. It's not going to know to come down and then go up. Um, so you're basically just creating that one-way door. And then we'll come back out two weeks, take this netting off, and then we'll finish plugging that corner with the copper mesh. And that's it. And they're all out. And they're all safe out living in the world, eating mosquitoes. And, but they're not inside the wall anymore. Hey, 
Okay, so we're here getting, wrapping up this bat job. And as you can see up here, you can see the flashing where they were going underneath and all the guano right there. So you install that netting that went to the edge. So they're going underneath right there. That's all the guano up there. So we installed the netting to the very edge so and sealed the side. So the only way for the bats to come out was through the back right here. And then as they come back to try to get in, they go up to the top where they were going in before with the flashing ends and try to get back in. Eventually they'll give up and go somewhere else. So typically we leave it up for two weeks and then we make sure they're all out of there and there's no babies, there's nobody left in there. And then we check everything with the camera, make sure the voids are all clear. And then we remove the netting and then now we're in the process of cleaning the guano. And then we're gonna seal down that flashing and then, and then uh, seal both ends so they can't come back inside and that'll be it and we'll show you guys what it looks like when we're all done they'll turn in white All right, so what Ted's doing is he's just, we're just tacking down, putting a little um, silicone on those nails, those roofing nails, and tacking down that flashing nice and tight. We're going in between what the roofer did, so it's extra tight. So what happened before is there wasn't enough nails, so the flashing lifted, and then the bats were going underneath it. So now he's just up there making sure it's really, really tight. And then in a minute, I'll show you guys how we're going to plug the ends each side of the flashing so they can't come in from the side. All right, now we're gonna seal the ends. I use this copper mesh, the same, same product we use for rats and mice for rodent prevention. Works really good for bats too. So I'm gonna cut a piece and I'm gonna wedge it in there. Why I like using this is because it's, it's clear. So um, it still is gonna allow airflow through there, especially considering there's probably still some guano in the wall itself. So this will allow the air to flow through there and dry all that out inside. And because it's copper, it won't rust. So if you do steel wool, if it gets wet, it will leave rust stains running down the walls. Copper won't rust. And it works really well for sealing up the holes and still allows it to vent. So you still get airflow in there. So we're gonna install that now. Nice and tight, now they can't get in there anymore. <laughs> 